Tony turned sweet 16, so I took her out for a Tony-licious weekend. Los Angeles, California. Oh, one of my favorite places. So, uh, yeah, of course I'm going to bring Tony here. Pink's was at the top of my list because, of course, who doesn't love weenies? Where can you find John Wayne Gacy's clown shoes or watch a mortician get a body prepared for a funeral? Right here at the Museum of Death. There's no photography allowed, so you're going to have to take my word that the autopsy pics were brutal. And the museum is so worth it. Say hello to San Pedro and the sunken city. All right, people, I'm about to go over the wall. I want you to remember that the camera adds about 65 pounds, so if I seem extra large, it's just because we're on film. I looked up the address online and this is where I ended up. Now on the other side of the fence, this is definitely where I want to be, but I have to get on the other side of the fence. While little Miss Tony Lachey just stood there and laughed at me, Chunk really was trying his hardest to hoist his big fat grandma over that fence. <laughs> <laughs> so obviously this isn't working. Now there's another way to get in here. It's over by the park. But when I looked it up online, it says you have to crawl underneath a fence. And so I'm thinking, if I can't get over the fence, how am I going to slide my big ass underneath the fence? For some reason, I'm thinking chain link and I'm going to get caught. But obviously I can't get over this way, so I'm going to have to try the other way. I will not be defeated, so we're going to try this one more time. Over the wall, under the fence, I'm in. So if you've never heard of the sunken city, let me edumacate you. Back in the 1920s, this guy wanted to build these posh bungalows to overlook the ocean. And then they noticed about 1929 that the land was shifting, like 11 inches per day shifting. And so, I don't know, a big chunk of it ended up just falling into the ocean. And they moved all the houses, and I think there was only two bungalows that actually ended up falling into the ocean. So basically this is like a hiking trip, because what you're looking at is just the ruins and the remains of concrete slabs, old dirt roads, pipes, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. Greetings from Compton, Long Beach Boulevard. This is Bloodsoe's Barbecue. How may I help you? Hi. The girls behind the bulletproof glass had such attitudes and were so stank. But if you can get through that, then the barbecue might be worth the wait. That's of course if they get your order right and or they don't run out of what you want first. Just a heads up, there is no place to sit, so when you pick up your barbecue, it is going to be to go. Also, you might want to stop at the store on the way in because their soda selection today consisted of warm Shasta can soda. Great. Don't let my negative vibe stop you from going because Haven assures me that this barbecue is banging. I think it's the sauce. And I'm sure the weekend highlight for Tony was the Selena Gomez concert. I'm on the 14 carries. I'm 14 carries. Up, Don't up, and away. Here we go eyes. to the nosebleed seats. Now you say I got a touch. So good, so good. Make you never want to leave. So don't. So don't. I'm not really into Selena Gomez like that, but I did shake a tail feather or two. 
Trejo's Tacos. Man, I've been trying to get here since it opened and I finally made it. Look at this man, Danny Trejo. He loves dogs, I love dogs. How could I not love Danny Trejo? These are not the kind of tacos that you're gonna get off the taco truck, but do not get it twisted. What you get here is organic, fresh, badass tacos. I ordered the grilled chicken taco and that's the tofu taco and I'm telling you that tofu taco might just surprise you because the salsa on that is friggin' hot but like hot enough that it made my nose run but not so hot that I would put the taco down. You know what I mean? It was scrum diddly umptious and that guacamole and chips bangin'. I'm still taking video, video now. The restaurant was so glad you here. Come on down. Wait, you're already here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Now, how nice was that? He did not have to do that. The entire time we were there, he did not turn anyone down for an autograph or a picture. He talked to everybody. He's very personable. He's down to earth. He is so friggin' nice. And actually, the entire staff is a reflection of Danny Trejo. Don't take my word for it. Not on the staff, not on the tacos. Everybody has their own taste. But I would go down there and I would check it out.